Hey there, hey there, hey there, I'm Critzy Bear. Welcome to another Let's Play. This is Dwarf Fortress Menu Mode. We're gonna play Adventure Mode though, so ch chill out. I just wanted to say, um, well, welcome back, Critzy Bear. Welcome back from the Nether Sphere or something. I don't know. Do you have any idea how difficult it is for me to make time for this now? Man, if things don't go perfectly the first time, there is no video today. I chose to record instead of eating today. So yeah, needless to say, I've been pretty busy, so I'm, I'm sorry. And you know what sucks? It sucks because since making my previous video, I have gained 10 more subscribers. Like that video, I was stoked about gaining 4 subscribers. <laughs> And now I've I've got a 10. You know, I was going to make another milestone video when I reach 40 subscribers. And I was going to be like, oh my god, I never thought I'd see this day. But fuck it, this space, I've been gaining like half a subscriber a day. I, I did the math. Half a subscriber a day. And pretty soon, it's going to be fucking 40 subscribers. Can't remember what I was going to do for my 40 subscribers thing. I had a plan. All right, I remember now. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Don't worry. It's not going to be like some some like gift unboxing video. It's already someone's outside the door. It's not going to be some some gift unboxing video. It's going to be like an actual event. Like I'm actually going to put uh, thought into it and and um, do something relevant to my channel, not like just talking in a in a thing like I'm doing right fucking now. God. Dang it, I'm sorry, I swore again. Swore again, my mother would be very disappointed. Um, let's let's get into things, we gotta explain something real quick. As you can see, the Eurasian 3 is no longer... No longer present. I suppose I should, uh... Should, should explain what happened there. I recorded for a little while. I was like, hey, I'm gonna beat this guy with my crutch. And I was doing pretty good, he, um... He got me on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna load up the the world here real quick while I'm talking. I got onto the. Um, I got hit in my other leg, which meant I was fully paralyzed. I. I mean, not paralyzed, but you know, I. I was. I was a parallelogram. Parallelogram. Fuck. fuck Fritzy bear. That's very insensitive. They're paraplegics, not parallelograms. Anyway. Um. Right, I didn't have any legs anymore, so I was stuck on the ground, and I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna die. Uh, it turns out, I, f I forgot about this little mechanic, uh, creatures can't charge at you if you're on the ground, and his primary means of doing damage to me was charging attacks, so he was stuck kind of haphazardly stabbing at me every every couple of turns. So I was in a pretty good spot. I was in a pretty good spot. I was pretty sure that I was going to beat him. I was like, hell yeah, I'm doing great. This is going to work out good for me. And then I, I snapped. It was a little dull, so you probably didn't hear it, but I snapped. And then snap, it was over in an instant. He gently stabbed me in my head, and my brain bumped into the back of my head or something, and, and I got knocked out, and, and you know, he, he, he ate me. He just ate me right there. Right there in, in the middle of the town. So maybe we can find my corpse eventually, but uh, more than likely he probably took it somewhere or something because we have simulated it for two weeks, or at the very least he's going to be a skeleton by the time we find him. Anyway, so on one of my previous videos I was requested to play builds that are a little more, you know, uh, a little more advantaged, like um, flying creatures with a bow and arrow. Um, so... I'm taking that into account. I'm also taking into account a uh, comment that I got about stone axes, and it made me get thinking, hey, if I could get my hands on two very rare materials, which are glumprog, which is the heaviest wood in the world, I mean, in the fantasy world, I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually exist. It's um, It grows in, I think, um, haunted wastelands, so pretty much just this... This one up here would be the only place, or haunted swamps, I think, so maybe this one over here, but that looks like a haunted jungle, maybe. Anyway, it only grows in those sorts of places, so I might not be able to uh, find that one, but the other thing, it's it's less rare, but I'm going to have a hard time finding it in adventure mode. It's um, obsidian. 
I wanted to make an axe out of glumprong and obsidian. As my my new goal is to make a, a glumprong obsidian axe, and and then uh, we're gonna fight with that. Uh, anyway, but that's probably not gonna happen. So I guess I'll just make it make it out of a flint or something. I was gonna play. Um, oh hey, specific person. Oh right, that's the character I retired because I messed up recording. Anyway, fuck. How long have I been here? Let me check. Oh, seven minutes already. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I, I take so long. It's just been a while, so I'm excited. Anyway, we're going to start playing. We're going to be a grizzly bear man. The reason for this is because grizzly bear men are large creatures, and the uh, build that I'm thinking here is going to be some kind of wrestly axe man. It's going to wrestle people and hit them with axes and maybe throw them, too, because... Uh, Anyway, the the reason I want to go for wrestling and a bear man, I'm going to just, uh, wait, let me, let me see, um, what civilizations can I pick here? Got this human one, which goes up pretty far north, and this human one, which goes even norther, so it's more likely to get a northmost thing. The reason I want northmost is because, um, yeah, the water doesn't freeze up there, but it does evaporate if you get too far north, so. Anyway, fuck, the reason I want a grizzly bear man is because grizzly bear men are really big and really strong and um, you can be a large specimen of your species if you um, click the randomly generate button enough so if you're a large grizzly bear man you're very large for a grizzly bear man and grizzly bear men are really strong so if I um, just uh, decrease my social awareness to a minimum uh, low empathy like I mean below average empathy and no, I'm not like a monster but uh, low musicality, linguistic ability, who needs it, I'm a bear man, and then decrease my patience, and I'm going to put my strength up to high. Now, that doesn't mean that I've got a high strength compared to the global average. I have a high strength compared to other grizzly bear men, and grizzly bear men are really big, so they their average strength is really strong compared to the average human, and I'm going to be big for a grizzly bear man, so not only am I stronger than the average human, I'm larger than the average bear man, and I'm stronger than the larger than average bear man. So it's going to be really, really, uh, really intense. What is the word that kids use today? Um, swole? Swole? I'm going to be swole as fuck. And uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. We're going to we're gonna break some arms like twigs. We're going to speak in a Russian accent. No, no, not really. Don't do that, Critz Bear. Don't actually do that. And, um, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be fun, maybe. Or it's going to be boring because it's so easy. But we'll see. Last time I found a crocodile to wrestle, so uh, that, that went very, very well. That went very extremely well. And uh, I'm not going to spoil it in case I encounter one now. Anyway, I'm going to skip until I'm... Uh, well, actually, no, I'm not going to skip yet because I want to do my skills. So I'm going to put some points into, let's see, where is what I'm looking for? Uh, wrestler. I want a lot compared to the peasant average in wrestling. Um, some striking. Uh, some observer and some fighter. And we can gain axe and throwing on our way, but for right now I want my main weapon to be uh, scratching people and wrestling them, because I got those bear claws and a stone axe probably isn't going to be of very much use until I'm actually good at using axes. So, anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to, um, when I get done with this uh, character creation here, and it gets into the less interesting aspects, like uh, the personality and stuff, I'm just going to skip until I'm done with that, right? So let's... Uh, Let's pick our goddess, or god, I'm sorry. Uh, Zitha Tombsurns. Tombsurns? Tomb Tombs Tombs Urns? The goddess of death? Oh, what is that, like, uh, Kelimvor style goddess of death? Or, because I mean, I can, I can get down with that. Kelimvor is a pretty good, pretty good god. I'm sorry if you're not into the Forgotten Realms. Anyway, uh, love and games, death, balance. Uh, volcanoes and fire. Cool. Earth, volcanoes, and fire. Water and nature. Cave lobster, though. He's a cave lobster for some reason. Uh. Oh, sorry. I, I, I messed up for a second there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You probably didn't notice. Uh, goddess of death. Death. Water, nature. Death. Uh, pre, pre, love and games. Uh, volcanoes and fire. Death. 
volcanoes and fire. I think I'm going to go with the volcanoes and fire, dude, because I want a uh, obsidian axe. I mean, he's not going to answer my prayers or anything. He's just, you know, you know, it just makes sense. I'm on a great pilgrimage for a volcano to make a holy axe. Anyway, I'm going to randomly generate a character until I'm muscular and large. So, uh, see, see you then. Oh, yeah, there it is. I got it. So, uh, we're going to keep going keep on going. Here's our personality. Let's see what his default personality. He's first personally somewhat disgusted by romance, believes that those who sacrifice for others should be deeply respected, and values eloquence. That's a very boring personality. We're gonna we're gonna change that up a little bit and uh, I'll catch you when I'm done doing that. Okay, like I like I said, okay. Anyway, back back into the game. Might have lost a little bit of uh, momentum here because I, I, I had to read stuff for a minute uh let's let's read this let's read it in the attitude to play games uh we are uhos odasic Hmm. good name that's a good name we're just gonna call ourselves uhos um basically what i've gone here for is uh i've tried to mold his personality a little off uh Sten, I think his name is, from Dragon Age, is Kunari. He's from a distant land, and he is a good man, but his morals are kind of, uh... The, the ideas of morality are different in the land that he's from. And, um, he thinks that it's, like, immoral that he has lost his sword and that he's not returning home and stuff, and he needs, he needs to find a good death and stuff, and... Well, I mean, like, the, towards the beginning, I'm pretty sure he wants you to lead him to death because you are taking him in exchange for his execution, and he believes that you are his execution, so he's waiting for you to lead him into a battle which kills him. Anyway, he's very honorable, and he he loves things like art, and he does feel emotions, he just believes that it's like, you know, he has to hide it, because his role is to be a warrior, and in his culture... Uh, your your role is, you know, everything. It's who you are, it, and he doesn't understand. Like, he views it as immoral the way that everyone in this land is free to do whatever they please and change casts and stuff. It, uh, yeah, it's... I mean, I never finished the game, so I'm sorry if there are a Dragon Age fans out there that I've upset by uh, simplifying Sten. I love Sten, okay? He's one of my favorite characters. He's, he's, he's like a, he's a badass, okay? He's, he's a badass, he's got a big sword, and he, he's, he's one of my favorite characters. Ne that's, that's all that needs to say, regardless of how ignorant I am about him. Anyway, I'm gonna read off a few of the important traits. Uh, I found out that it lists the um, most notable differences from the cultural norm first, and, um, and then starts listening, li listing the um, not really notable things. Anyway, he personally uh, he personally views any show of emotion as offensive. Believes that martial prowess defines the good character of an individual. Believes that those who sacrifice for others should be deeply respected. Treasures independence. Greatly respects individuals that persevere through their trials and labors. Hates those who wield power over others. Is disgusted. I mean, Sten. I'm pretty sure didn't really care if you hold power over others. I'm I'm not sure though. I uh, didn't get that far. Um, is Disgusted by merrymakers, respects fair dealing and fair play, values artwork, values self-control, respects the development of skill, finds maintaining decorum a silly, fumbling waste of time, blah, blah, blah. And now personality, uh, per per personal personality, not cultural personality. Um, he is incredibly, he has an incredibly calm demeanor. He is uner he unerringly returns favors and has, uh, and has a profound sense of gratitude for the kind actions of others. He cleaves to an austere lifestyle, disdaining even minor immodesties in appearance. He is private to the point of paranoia, unwilling to really reveal even the most basic information about himself. Sten in the game, he wouldn't even tell you his name. So that's that's one of the big things. Uh, he find uh, he he is truly fulfilled by assisting those in need. He rarely he is rarely jealous. He p rarely looks on others with lust. He is confident under pressure. He desires little for himself in the way of possessions. He would never piss, pass up a chance for a good fist fight. And uh, let's let's just get going because you don't really need a. Uh, 
you don't really need any more than that. I am concerned because of the personality that I've gotten out here. He has an intense need to help people, which is going to get a little awkward because I'm not sure how you can um, deliberately help people in the current version. But it is a need. Let's put our weapons away. Excuse me. Let's check our inventory. See, uh, we do have a water skin complete with water, and we do have food. And we have no shield, but we do have a spear. Let's remove our dagger and put that on my back as well. Let's uh, shout out to everybody. Hey there! It's me, U U U U U whatever my name is. I said, greetings, Sathar. Hello, it is good to see you, he says. Um, let's. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm getting too loud for my microphone. I've been trying a lot of new things to get it to work right so um yeah that i don't know why i had to pause everything to say that uh way right, right we were gonna inquire about any troubles well let's see we've got armies on the march and beasts um i'm still shouting tell me about these beasts um the human lie maker stands up standing from his chair except it's not him we're talking to the mechanic um a great beast threatens to bring ruin upon our people. Will judges, as in the invisible hill, seek this place if you hunt. Dunhags, dun dung hags, the free puke, the hydra. Ho ho! Dung hangs, the free puke. This vile fiend has killed thirty six in his lust for murder. Fuck, fuck that shit. Man, no thank you. Uh, that's that's terrific. Bye. I'm just gonna go out and, and punch a crocodile or something. Maybe make a make an axe. Make an make a new weapon to attack people with. I believe we are pretty far north. I can't remember because there's um there's a lot of sand out here. Okay, here's the jungles. All right, I remember these elves. We are near elf land here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get far north enough that I... Whoa, wait, where am I? I think I'm close to a lair over here. There it is. I think we're going to hang out around here for a while until we can face whatever that creature is in that lair. Unless it is the Hydra that I was just talking about. Oh, you saw the secret. Maybe. I saw it flash there. Whoa, what are these things? Are these bears? No, they're boars. Oh, cool. Let's see if they run away from me. How many are afraid of me? Ooh, we're gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna punch this boar's teeth out, maybe. Um, let's, no, because we won't be able to get rid of his tusks. I was gonna say, punch his teeth out so that he can't bite us, and then he'll, oops, sorry, he'll be forced to, um, uh, forced to push us, which is a useless attack. It's kind of like uh, Flail on Pokemon or whatever the move is called, where you don't have any PP pee -pee left. That's what it's called, you know, PP. -pee. I'm, I know, I'm surprised too. Fuck. Anyway, sorry, swore again. God dang. Uh, right. He has tusks though, so that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna gra grab. I'm gonna grab him somewhere. I'm gonna grab his throat gonna grab his throat no I'm attacking wrestle him there we go wrestle and we're gonna grab his throat and we're gonna gonna strangle him well no we're not gonna strangle him yet because I want to get some experience uh, we slam him down on the ground and we're gonna just uh, punch him he is uh, attacking me with his hooves and it's, it's useless because boars are supposed to attack with your tusks Man, you're bad at this. He's, he's, he's new. Don't judge him. Anyway, we're just going to keep uh, fight. Get out of here. Fucking software victim. Just get out of here. I bought this. Anyway, we're going to fight this boar. And that's... Ooh, shit! I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. My mom's going to be so mad. Oh, we're going to want to strangle him right away because he just... Uh, kicked me in my upper body with his hoof and now my muscle is bruised so we're gonna choke him okay we put a chokehold on him and we're gonna strangle him and now he's just uh, passed out so we're gonna just uh, keep punching him and see if it gains me any experience uh, probably won't 
Nah, it doesn't look like it's gaining me any experience. Just check again. Nope. So we're just going to keep strangling him. There we go. Now he's dead. Now we're going to want to get out of here so that my lung can recover. Traveling is the best way to heal yourself. Well, I mean, it's not going to heal everything, as you've seen in my previous one, where I was paralyzed for the rest of the game. Oh, man, I hope this one goes as interesting as, as that one. See? My lung is healed now. Uh, I hope this one goes as interesting as the last one, because honestly, this one, I feel it's going to be pretty lame, because I'm just a wrestler, and I'm playing on an overpowered build. The only interesting thing I've got going on is my will to uh, hunt a mighty volcano fragment for uh, the the um, the amusement of my deity, or, or perhaps as some kind of holy pr pilgrimage to, to Bear Mountain, where I, I will take a stone. You know what, actually, how about I do find a mountain. We're going to roleplay a little bit. We are going to travel as far north as possible, and we are going to take a stone from a mountain. And that that stone will accompany us on our on our path to, to greatness, uh, spiritual enlightenment in our quest to find a volcano, so that we can gain the ultimate favor of our goddess. Or god? I can't remember. Uh, we were coming up on a dwarf land here. They're hill dwarves, but... I mean, Sorry, uh, I accidentally tabbed out for a second there, like in the middle of a transition. That's what I do when I'm playing in single player. I tab out, check Skype and stuff, and it kind of leaks into uh, playing. I mean, it's not it's not not single player. It's um when I when I'm playing on my own, not with you. Good golly, Critz Bear, you're sure good at talking. Hey, this guy is over here. He's really mad. So let's see what he's mad about. He's become enraged. Let's go. Um, let's go stand near him so he'll uh, attack me. Get in a get in a little fist fight. Get some experience. Hello, um, convex nose bridge. I'm I'm sorry. I got distracted for a second remembering the the bridge goblin. I, I like it, people with these names. Hello, uh, hello, my name is Uhos, and the dwarf is no longer enraged. Just like that, I talk to him and he's not mad anymore. I'm a cool dude, apparently. Um, hello, grizzly bear man, I am Zoneg Lash Release. The sun will set soon, be careful that the boogeyman doesn't get you. Let's start a fight with this dude. Um... State my values. Uh, the worthlessness of law. Fucking dwarves are all about law. Let's let's talk about that. Let's let's. Hey, I beg to differ. Society flourishes when lawbreakers are punished. Um. Oh, uh, uh, the my argument was nothing gives them the right to establish these laws. And he says, I beg to differ. Society flourishes when lawbreakers are punished. Um. Let's. Uh, Let's, let's, uh, can I, can I press, can I press, okay, let's argue, I don't agree, no law can do justice to the complexity of life, he says, stop and reflect, society, flir blah, society flourishes, blah, 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 argue again, you're thinking about this all wrong, nothing gives them the right to establish these laws, just think about it, one should always respect the law, let's, let's, let's fight, dismiss his argument. Uh, were you trying to make an argument? That is the stupidest statement I've ever heard, really. Well, there must be something else to discuss. Man, didn't get into a fight. I just had fun reading it. Um, state value, what's something else? Um, uh, worthlessness of power? Dwarves like that, right? Uh, it is abhorrent to, spe to seek power over people. Uh, he says, I beg to differ. The struggle for power must be balanced at, or by other considerations. Um, oh. What? Oh. But, I'm sorry, I got confused by the organization of the options here. They were in different places. Argue again. Uh, just think about it. There's nothing admirable about bullying others. That's wrong. The struggle for power must be balanced. Uh, let's, let's just dismiss his argument again. Uh, I couldn't follow your rambling. You insult me with your dis derision. But let's move on. 
I derided him. Derision. That's a good word to say. Right, anyway, ask for permission to stay a day. Certainly, it would be terrible to leave some... Let me try to read this in a more time, uh, snide tone. <sighs> Certainly, it would be terrible to leave someone to fend for themselves at night. There. That's totally snide. Bye-bye. Let's go to sleep. I forgot to lie about how many people I've killed. I could have uh, told him that I'm a great warrior already. Oh, I just realized I forgot to change my life wish up. Oh, man, I don't know what my my destiny is now. Oh, man, I meant to pick great warrior, but now, I, I don't know, I could dream of raising a family or something. Um, does it tell me where's my personality at? No, where's my personality? I can't tell. I don't know if you can look for your personality in adventure mode, but fuck. <laughs> it's gonna be a surprise. If I'm a legendary warrior, I'm gonna be happy, but you know, maybe not. Let's go up here. Once the sun is rise, ri once the sun is rise, we will get a drink. And uh, here we go. Let's stop at this little brook so we don't have to swim anywhere. Ooh, thunder! And the water is frozen, so we're just gonna eat something. And oh wait, wait. Okay, I have I have water that isn't frozen in my water skin for some reason. Oh, I ate too much and now I'm nauseous. Oh, well, let's just travel. I don't like all the a these asterisks. This is pretty spooky. Let's go down here. I don't want to cross the river, even though I can swim because I'm a bear man. You know, I haven't encountered this problem a lot because I keep playing animal people, which are natural-born swimmers, but if you jump in water on any character that isn't a natural swimmer or you didn't start with swimming skill in the first place you get fucked over fast I'm gonna have to head over to this town over here because it is getting dark these guys live in a little wasteland or half in a wasteland that's rare for humans uh, no race really tries to settle in wastelands and stuff I'm pretty sure and the water is still frozen and I am still nauseous for some reason but um, we'll see if the well is frozen too Let's see about that. Um, come on. Where is that well at? Uh, down here? No. Oh, wait. People are running that way. Maybe they know where the well is. No, there's no well over here. I guess I could just go into some place. You know what? Let's just let's just sleep in this furthest house over here. I'm, I'm like gagging on how much food I ate. Let's sleep in this house over here. Let's see who I'm gonna have to ask permission to. Uh, oh, apply to greeting. Hello, and the other guy. Uh, oh, I already. Whatever. Um, hey there. Can I uh, comment on? Nope. Okay. Fuck. Um, change the subject. I accidentally. There. Comment on the weather. It's a pleasant enough day out there. Uh, it's also getting dark. Will you allow me to stay for the day? Of course. Why would he say no? He is a programmed entity. I don't know why I'm acting like it was any other choice. The only people who say no are people who really hate you and people in cities. Because city goers are expected... They're... Ooh, that's a really nice gust of wind. I'm not sure if you can hear that wind out there, but it's really, really nice right now. I'm still nauseous. Oh, man. This is going to be hard if I get into a fight. Anyway, city goers, they don't appreciate you asking to stay at their house because they are very loyal to their city, and it helps the economy to um, to go sleep at an inn. Okay, I'm finally... No, I'm, I'm still nauseous. God dang it. I guess I'll uh, start sneaking. We'll, we'll build up some sneaking experience and try to walk until I'm not nauseous anymore. It's, I'm not nauseous anymore, so I'm going to... Eat, eat these turtles and now we're out of all food and water and I believe that these rivers are all frozen there's the mountain hey now we can make our little axe thing oh here's a river that isn't frozen or I guess brooks don't freeze they just get all rocky because their source is frozen or something and let's uh, interact with my water skin no uh, interact there it is okay interact inspected it uh, interact with the water skin to fill it up and now we're gonna want to find something to kill and eat so I'll catch you when I find something to that effect oh wait I'm on the mountain now aren't no I'm just getting near the mountain that's why it's getting all rocky oh 
here's something with a P that's a falcon, right? Yep, it's a falcon. Anyway, like I... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> it's like super rainy outside. Like something just fell over in my room on how windy it is right now. Ooh, but it feels so nice. And my power stuff is getting wet, so I'll, I'll be right back. Unfortunately, I can't leave the window open. Oh, there's another P, but I don't even have to check that. P is for peregrine, which is a type of falcon. And what is up here? Another falcon. We're getting near the mountain, so we're probably not going to spot much more than birds and such. Maybe some mountain goats? We'll see. Ooh. You hear that thunder? That's nice. I like thunder. Oh, oh well, we're on the mountain now. Whatever. <gasps> ooh, did I spot something to murder? Ooh, ooh, they're M's. What are M's? Hoary marmots, hell yeah! We got monkeys. We can eat monkeys. Um, but they're, they're too smart for me. They all ran away. Probably because I'm a big old grizzly bear man, and it's difficult to actually sneak. Because, uh, I'll show you in a second when I, uh, when I, when I don't, when I'm not prone anymore. Let's sneak around here so that when they come down, I can, uh, assault them. They're going down the ramp again. And here they are. I know this is probably confusing to look at because you can see all their vision arcs that stand up. And we're going to go into our sneaking thing here. See, a uh, large non-prone pro 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 profile. Pro pro pro. That means I am actually a large creature. It's worst possible sneaking because I'm huge and there's no way I'm going to hide. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, let's strangle this marmot and we're going to eat him. We're not messing around right now. We're not trying to get practice. We're trying to eat. So let's silently grab him, choke him, and just strangle him. There we go. Dead. Straight away. See? See why this is overpowered? I just grab him by the throat, then they're dead. Like, as soon as I get a hold on that, bam, dead. And I'm a large creature, so it's going to be pretty easy to wrestle other large creatures. Because if you recall, when uh, last time I did a little wrestling, it was on a hippopotamus. And um, it was difficult to get my hands around him. I was constantly adjusting my grip and stuff. So, anyway, marmots. We're going to butcher this marmot. I'm going to have to take out my uh, my spear and stuff, though. There we go. And uh, he only had seven meat, but, you know, that'll last a few days. i drink some of this water and eat that marmot corpse. And I'm nauseous again. So great. Uh, I think I saw gold back here, and if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna find myself a weapon, I'm gonna wanna be, I'm gonna wanna try to get some uh, gold pebbles. I can't remember if that's still a thing or not, but um, cotton grass, cool. Um, where is, where I'm gonna have to go for granite or something. I think these are granite. What are they? Um, Chalk? Hell no, I'm not gonna... Uh, this is a chalk mountain. Oh, that's lame. Let me check, just see see the contents of the mountain here. Yeah, it's a chalk mountain. You ain't gonna find nothing good here. Other than chalk. Chalk is, is, is lame. Man, you wanna hit someone with a chalk axe? No. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if this uh, changes material anywhere, and we'll uh, get ourselves our holy axe. Otherwise, the holy axe is going to be more of a holy hammer, because it's going to dull in a single strike. I'm not sure if that's actually going to happen, because, you know, Dwarf Fortress, it, it's, uh, it's, it's not perfect, but we'll see. Actually, let me see how close I am to the peak, because we got to get to the peak, man. Um, go to the map. I don't think this mountain has a peak, so we're just going to go as high as we possibly can and take some rocks from there. And I'm thinking this looks just about as high as we can possibly go. So let's uh, find some pebbles. Uh, pebbles? Pebbles? It's a little difficult because despite the fact that there are big boulders right here, we're not finding any pebbles. Uh... Cotton grass, cotton grass, metal grass, and what about this one? Is this one good? Uh, grab, pick up chalk, pick flowers, no, 
this one. Cloudberry. Cool. Too bad they're not ripe yet, but you know, it would have been cool. Just keep in mind that this this mountain has cloudberry, the uh, the holy fruit of my religion. Um, that's something I just made up. Don't don't quote me on that. I don't know what the uh, goddess of mountains and volcanoes uh, considers holy. Probably like obsidian and cloudberries. Probably I don't know. I uh, don't think they actually do that yet, but uh, we'll we'll see. We'll ju we'll just pretend. Man, I'm not finding any of the freaking things here, you know, the pebbles. Where where the hell, man? Where the hell are they? Dang, dude. I guess I'll just cut it out until I freaking find a pebble up in this mountaintop meadow. It seems actually like a pretty nice place. You know, you think meadow, you think think mountain and you think big, treacherous, steep thing and and while this was steep, it's certainly not tre treacherous. It's just got a bunch of passive monkeys and and pretty flowers all over the place. Those little club symbols are flowers. Cloudberries and a bunch of meadow grass and cotton grass. And this is a pretty place. Anyway, I'm getting a little uh, sidetracked here. I'm gonna cut it out until you uh, in, until we get somewhere. It's done. It's done raining. By the way, I don't know if I I told you that. Ah, well, I have nearly crossed this mountain. And I have not been able to find a single place to take some chalk from. Just checking a couple more. So, no, no chalk I can pick up here. And cloudberries and stuff. Guess I'll just uh, have to descend the mountain in order to do that. Just uh, check where I am real quick. I'm in the middle of the mountain. So it's going to take a minute to get out. But You know what, let's check by the walls here. Just uh, one more crap shoot. I believe I'm still holding the hoary marmot meat, so I'm gonna put that in my backpack too. Uh, nope, no chalk here. No chalk. Darn it. And whatever. I'll uh, see you on the other side of the mountain. I mean, unless you wanna listen to me ramble as I, I walk through a big mountain meadow. Hey, it's a, uh, it's 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 lowering now. It's it's doing the slope down thing, you know. D decline? No. Descend. And we're in the desert again, I think. Let's see. Um, not quite. It's just randomly stony here. What's going on here? Gabbro. Ooh, we found a big old great Gabbro pit for some reason. Um, I would really like a Gabbro rock. That's better than chalk. But of course, for some reason I can't take any of them. Oh, man. Can I interact with a boulder? No. Darn it. Attack one? Of course not. That's not something programmed into the game. Fuck, man. This is, this is such a tease. Such a tease. Can't pick up any of this. Let me check by all those boulders over there. Man, uh, search... Uh, what's the search button? Look, intense search brings up nothing. Fuck. Let's go. You know what? You know what I can do? I can th I can throw cockroaches at people. I can fill my bag with cockroaches and throw them. Yes, I will throw small creatures and vermin at people. Uh, the, I just remembered that feature of the um, searching intensely and finding nothing. But, you know, if you search in caves and stuff, you can find creatures which you can pick up and just throw ants at people. That sounds fun. Uh, you, you may or may not know the story of a man who once slew a bronze colossus by throwing a fluffy wombler at her. Wambler? Wombler? Wurbler? A, fl a fl fluffy thing. They're, they're like tiny people made of marshmallows. He threw it at the bronze colossus and it shattered his head. And he was slain. Bronze colossi are gigantic beings made of metal, and in a game that simulates everything, being made of metal is kind of intense. But I don't... I believe they feel pain, so, um... You just keep cracking their their metal, and they'll eventually, um, pass out from the pain. Hey, I'm almost at the edge of the mountain, and I've been babbling this entire time, so uh, good job, Critzy Bear. I'm being the worst YouTuber ever.
Okay, we have crossed the mountain in our pilgrimage to find a single stone which is okay to take, and here we are. We, we, we shall take this uh, consecrated gabbro, make a sharp rock, and um, you know, let's let's take a lot of gabbro. Let's take way way too much gabbro. Just take a lot, a lot of gabbro. A lot of gabbro. Put those in the backpack. Nope, it's too too much gabbro in my backpack. I can't take more gabbro. Um, put put this gabbro down and see if we can trick it into putting it in our backpack. Nope. Darn. Well, wait, wait, wait. I got one more trick up my sleeve. Let's uh, put it down and wield our weapons and see. Yes. Okay. I have put. The gabbro in my backpack. Now we must find a tree. We shall steal tree parts from the elves, and damn them if they try to tell us we can't. Whoa! What is zooming in here? Hey, it's a camp. Good thing I didn't wander any further. They followed me for a second. Where are the elves at? Oh, we got a ruined elf settlement over here. No, I don't want to sleep there because ruined elven settlements are not safe to sleep in. I'm pretty sure. Because they are technically outside, and only elven magic can protect you. Um, let's find one of their named trees, which I'm sure somebody thinks is very special. Let me check the time. Ooh, a 5.20. Anyway, we're going to find one of their house trees. They're down here. Find one with a cool name. Let's see, where's the, where's the special one? Right here. Um, Grove Gleams. Mm-hmm. Where's the other special one? Not that one. Where's it? Oh, these ones aren't special. They're just uh, around. Uh, look for another special tree. Um, there should be one down here, right? A little waggy. Uh, ooh, this one looks special. This one's pretty big. Looks like a super house tree. I think. Where is it? Where is it at? Oh, it's down here. What is this one's name? The Shield of Coverting. I guess I'll take that one. That one has an epic name. Um, no. Where is where is that one's base? Oh, that was its base. Okay. Dang, that's an empty tree. Whatever. Uh, we're going to take some of its wood. Fell it. Oh. Oh, we can we can cut down their trees. I just realized that you can cut down the elves' trees, which I'm pretty sure are sentient beings to them. Whatever. Let's just uh, make make an axe, carve a wooden hill, from with my sharp gabbro, and now assemble a stone axe. Hell yeah! Let's put put that away. Now we got a gabbro axe. We're gonna axe people now. Ask them questions, and. We, we can cut down a tree. Oh, man. You know what? Let's sleep here. And mm, No, I don't want to... Oh, fuck. It's so tempting. Ah, let's, 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 just, let's just go to sleep. We're going to climb up into their tree and sleep. I guess this one is a little bit abandoned, so... Yeah, no, it would be a really, really bad idea to cut down an elf tree, because those dudes, they, they love their tree. Sorry. Whoa! What is that thing? What is it? Uh, what is this? For, something just collapsed. Um. Okay. Um, we're, we're gonna fall for a sec. What collapsed? What fell over here? Something. There was a cave in for some reason. What? Whatever. I don't know. Uh, we're starting to feel full. We are too full to eat anymore without getting that annoying, nauseous thing going again. Anyway, uh, we we are not going to cut down an elf tree, but now we have a um, an axe constructed of blessed stones from our holy mountain uh, that we gained on a pilgrimage to foreign lands, and a um, a a sprig of an elven tree. Granted to us by force, as the goddess of volcanoes demanded. Or, you know, just uh, monologuing to myself. We're doing a little role-playing. I'm sorry that nothing interesting has happened yet. I'm looking to cross this river, first of all, because you can't fast travel over rivers. 
I'm looking right now to head further to the north. What are those G's? Groundhogs, maybe? Yep, they're groundhogs. Uh, it's funny how I can automatically sense everything. I accidentally killed one. <laughs> okay. Um, right, anyway, further north, I'm going to look for a crocodile. And the reason for that is, I know I said I wasn't going to spoil it, but it's been long enough and I haven't encountered one like I wanted. The reason for that is because they literally have one attack, and that is to bite people. And if you take away their ability to bite, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm probably not going to get to that hamlet until night. Anyway, uh, they they only have one weapon, which is is biting. Night is falling. It came the official official announcement there. Anyway, what was I saying? Right, they only have one weapon, and that is to bite people. So they uh, they they have a little bit of trouble if you take that away from them. Let's let's kill this eagle. Who cares about freedom? K kill the eagle by a bite his neck. Bite his neck. There we go. He is dead immediately. Let's see what happened. Uh, from behind, severed part sails off in an, uh, in an arc. I bit his head off. Fucking Ozzy, 4th of July day here. Hey, hey, that's a funny joke. <sighs> Alright, let's see how long I've been recording here. For once, I don't care if I've actually accomplished anything. Yeah, that seems about the length of a normal Dwarf Fortress episode, so... I think I'm going to call it quits right here. We're going to find some place to sleep. Let's leave that little timer up on our thing here. We're going to find some place to sleep, and then we're going to uh, head off to uh, a different game, probably Cataclysm. I wanted to play that because, uh, you know, I got a lot of fans here who came for my Cataclysm game, and, and I haven't been playing that. Let's see who talks to me about something. Hail, friend, I am Uhos. Uh, tall human miner. I guess I'm not sure, says says that miner. Uh, no, whatever, I got confused. Uh, ah, hello, I am Usi, wooden cover. Wooden cover. Only a fool would travel alone at night. Take shelter, or the boogeyman will get you. I wish that would count as an invitation, but no, unfortunately, I still have to ask. Please, let me take shelter. Um... Uh, it would be terrible to leave someone alone to spend for themselves after sunset. And the tall human farmer says, I have trouble controlling my temper. Interesting. Let us, let us test that temper. Hello, farmer. Hello. I am, uh... Oh, okay, I, I got confused because of all this teal text. Someone was stunned and is no longer stunned now, so... Um... I, uh, let's see... Ah, hello, I am Desley, sport bro. Only a fool would travel alone at night. Now, I already got permission to stay for the night. I wanted to talk to you about your temper. Uh, ex ex state my values. What would these guys get pissed off about? Um, the value of stoicism. Um, one should not complain or betray any feelings. I just don't know. Yeah, I'm correcting him about saying to everybody that he can't control his temper. I'm saying you shouldn't talk about your feelings, man. Press it. Press the argument. I just don't know. No, press the argument. I guess I'm not sure. Press, pre press, fuck, I changed the subject. God dang it. Um, state my values, uh, value of self-control, you should control yourself. I think self-control is key, master yourself. I cannot agree, people should be able to control themselves, but if that's fine to follow the impulses that aren't too harmful. He's, he's getting annoyed because I'm trying to scold him about having emotions up in here. Um, uh, argue again? I don't want to argue. Press the argument. Uh, you're thinking about it all wrong. People should be able to control themselves, but it's fine to follow the impulses that aren't harmful. He said the exact same thing, and I um, said it again. Let's dismiss his argument. You insult me with your derision, but let's move on. God dang it. How do you start a fight? Let's just go to sleep. Hey, if you're in my comments section, tell me how we start a fight. Also, where the fuck... I, I'm sorry, Swargan. Where the heck are all you guys coming from? Like, what the hell? You know what, I'm going to save that for my next video. I'm going to ask at the beginning.
don't comment on that. Uh, don't comment on this video. Gotta increase my comment retention. My my friend retention. Answer the other question that I already asked and I forgot. Answer that one, not this one. I'll I'll ask this one in the next video, which is probably going to be Cataclysm. Uh, hey, hey, welcome back. I'm having fun, even if it doesn't seem like it. Even if my my progress here seems seems minimal, I had fun. It's nice to record. I'm, I'm to be honest. To be honest, I was getting really stressed out that I didn't have anything out, and I kept gaining subscribers. I was like, oh, shoot, I'm going to lose all these guys if I don't get something out today. And that was every day for the last week that I've been like that. So, yeah, it's, it's nice to get that off my chest. So, see you next time. Bye!